Health is the cornerstone of life and the basis of happiness. However, cancer, which globally takes 7.6 million people lives every year, diverts us from the path to a happy life. In Taiwan, cancer has been the leading cause of death for over 30 years. Thus, Taipei Veterans General Hospital has been focusing on cancer treatment since its establishment in 1958, hoping to find a way to fight cancer on behalf of humanity. In 2014, the hospital was selected as the Center of Excellence for Cancer Research, CECR, and National Clinical Trial Center. Research targets focused on oral, breast, liver, and lung cancer. In 2016, the hospital was awarded the honor of being one of the top 15 hospitals in the world. Today, Taipei Veterans General Hospital introduces a new treatment methodology marking a new dawn in cancer treatment. In the field of radiotherapy, the application of heavy ions, which is different from proton and photon therapy, has opened a new chapter in cancer treatment. Carbon ion is the most commonly used particle in heavy ion therapy. The principle of carbon ion therapy is to dissociate carbon atoms from methane molecules, CH4, into carbon ions, and then use a synchrotron to accelerate the particles to 70% of the speed of light. The unique physical properties and high biological effect of carbon ions allow it accurately irradiate lesions while presenting very high tumor control rate and minimal side effects. In photon therapy, photon fluence gradually decreases after entering the body. For deep-seated tumors, photons would cause damage to any tissue that lay in its path to the targeted tumor. In contrast, carbon ions used in heavy ion therapy take advantage of a phenomenon called Bragg peak and release most of the energy at the tumor, sparing the surrounding normal tissue. The mass of a carbon ion is 12 times of a proton's, and their capability to kill tumor cells is three times better than of protons. Compared to protons or photons, carbon ions have higher relative biological effectiveness, RBE, causes direct DNA damage and leave tumor cells with less chance to repair the damaged DNA. Rapidly proliferating tumor cells create a hypoxic microenvironment. Hypoxic tumor cells are more resistant to radiotherapy and cause photon therapy to be less effective. In photon therapy, oxygen has an essential role in sustaining DNA damage, which will result in tumor cell death. However, heavy ion therapy causes irreparable damage to DNA double strands without requiring the presence of oxygen for killing tumor cells. The low oxygen enhancement ratio, OER, of heavy ion therapy is its most prominent advantage over proton therapy. Tumors that are resistant to photon therapy may be treated more effectively through heavy ion therapy due to its high RBE and low OER. With regard to clinical advantages, photon and proton therapy often requires approximately 30 fractions of irradiation, whereas heavy ion therapy requires on average 12 or less fractions of irradiation. Heavy ion therapy is non-invasive and requires a greatly shorter treatment course. A pencil beam scanning system is used to precisely irradiate target lesions at different sites. High conformity can be achieved even for those tumors with complex shape. A real-time tumor tracking system, respiratory gating radiotherapy technique, tracks moving tumors with a fiducial marker during irradiation. Compared with conventional radiotherapy, the treatment can be finished in a short period of time and side effects are much smaller, so the patient can come back home very quickly after the treatment with maintaining the high quality of life.
Taipei Veterans General Hospital has been planning the first heavy ion therapy center in Taiwan since 2008 and started construction in 2019. Heavy Ion Therapy Center of Taipei Veterans General Hospital imported the most advanced equipment from Japan. The synchrotron in the radiation protection area on B1 accelerates carbon ions and imports them into the treatment room horizontally and vertically to accurately irradiate patients. The horizontal accuracy of the synchrotron is required to be precise to 0.05 millimeters which is half the thickness of a strand of hair. Moreover, radiation shielding walls that are up to 6.5 meters thick are installed to prevent radiation leakage out of treatment rooms. The precise equipment and extensive protection measures provide the safest and most comfortable treatment environment for staff and patients. From the moment a patient walks in the hospital, the medical care team of Taipei Veterans General Hospital carries out patient-centered medical care, pays attention to the needs of patients, forthwith provides professional medical assistance, learns from illnesses, and provides patients with the best medical care with empathy and compassion. The continuous forward movement of Taipei Veterans General Hospital has already accomplished an important milestone in the history of cancer treatment in Taiwan. In the future, we will continue using highest quality equipments, train a skillful team, and provide quality care service to ensure the physical and mental health of every patient and move forward side by side with them. <laughs>